Hi everyone, welcome to another Ballet for Tutorials. I'm Yelena and today you're going to be learning everything that you need to know about promenade in ballet. From the definition to tips to improve your promenade and also how to do it as a beginner. In saying that, let's get ready and let's get to it. Let's begin by defining promenade in ballet. In ballet it means a tour or a walk and that's already telling you that you're going to be turning around. So when we do a promenade we turn around over one leg with the other leg in any position. Could be in coup pied, attitude, passe, arabesque, it doesn't matter the position, the important part is the supporting leg because the heel of the supporting leg is going to be doing movements of up and down like a hammer, tick, 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 and basically that's a promenade. And the best news about promenade is that once you can master a promenade, you can do any basic period in ballet because promenade is the base for future periods and turns in ballet. And now that we know how a promenade looks like, let's get to learn how to do a promenade. I would recommend you to go to the bar or you can be in a fifth position and fast like me in the center you can also find a wall it's fine now from that fifth position I want you to think on doing a good pie in front forward with your right leg and your body weight goes from the heel which is never meant to be on your heels all the way to the toes of the supporting leg but this side is going to be really tall in order that both hips stay square and level don't sink or sit down on the supporting leg rather go really tall because you need to create a space for that heel to lift and lower okay so once we establish that first position could be a forward with the body weight over your toes of the supporting leg and this side really tall and hips level let's do a quarter of a promenade on the horse which means we are going to turn towards the right side in front of us diagonal and that's a quarter of a promenade you can do quarters of promenade first then you can do half of a promenade and then you can even do a full promenade which means you are preparing for a full period once you try this at the bar i would recommend you to go directly to the center with your arms in a first position but your back muscles are going to be engaged core muscles engaged and don't move out of there keep a really upright position and slowly without any rush you're going to begin doing your promenade now something that you need to keep in mind is that your shoulders and hips stay square the entire time and they are going to turn together this is another characteristic really important to remember because this is going to be obvious and important we're learning to do pirouette shoulders and hips stay in a square position which means they move together and we are not going to do promenade or we are not going to do promenade that doesn't exist if you really want to learn to do a good period first come to promenade to the bar and make sure that you can do a quarter of a promenade without doing extra movements of shoulders or hips now if you have been on the bar or on the wall i want to test you i want you to go to the center to do an FAC, fifth position FAC, facing the right diagonal in front of you. Let's do a first arabesque, 45 degree. And now I want you to do a promenade on the dime towards the supporting leg. And yes, we keep turning all the way to the right side. Now, did you remember to put your body weight over the toes of the supporting leg? Do you remember to keep a right position? and hips square and turning together. If you did so, then you are ready to master periods. There are many ways in which you can do promenade. You can do promenade with the amplia. You can do promenade in releve, which is really, really hard. And to do that, I would recommend you to go to the bar and maybe face in the bar. And from there, slightly move, move move now this promenade in releve is really really hard but if you can master that that's going to help you to improve all your balance and point work for girls well now that you know how to do a promenade and how it looks like what do you think about my decoration what do you think about my new studio let me know in the comments below i'm really excited to know what you think about the new decoration